when I was 15, the idea of talking to a girl, that was difficult. That was really hard. Because I remember, if I liked a girl when I was 15, I actually had to call her on her home phone. From my home phone. With my brothers walking past, and they know what I'm doing. I'm like, are you calling a girl? Are you calling a girl? Oh, you popped that. <laughs> Just, it's so easy today. You miss a text message on Facebook and you can form this perfectly worded sense instruction. You can show it to your mates before you say, what do you think of that? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you swear a lot, so it's pretty good. Yeah, okay. All right. Look at away, can't think. Oh, I used to have... You know, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. <laughs> Leave like the rest of them! Amy! All right, so... All right. All right. All right. All right. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so... I used to have a cheat pad. Who had cheat pads, guys, like next to the phone, of conversation topics in case there was a lull in the conversation topic? <laughs> I'm not the only one that did this. Right? Like, but mine were shit. They, were so, they weren't even good. Like there'd be a lull in the conversation. I'd be like, I bought a red t shirt today. <laughs> Disgust. <laughs> no, like, I remember one time I called this girl Sarah, and it was a horrific. Experience my confidence before she even came to the phone was just plummeting. Right, I say my hand, this represents my confidence level. It starts pretty high, it's got to be pretty high to make the phone call. So I call her up, dad answers the phone, instantly sinks down to here, like that. And I can hear him calling out to her, but I can't hear what she's saying, but I can get the gist. And my confidence is just shocking. I can just, all I can hear is this Sarah, phone for you. It's Nick. Nick. <laughs> Grimwood, <laughs> tell him yourself. <laughs> so, uh, didn't work out with Sarah. Uh, I had to end it. Yeah, <laughs> had to break. Oh, she was too clingy. So, uh, much too clingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not with me, obviously, but with other guys. <laughs> I used to watch her. <laughs> Stop being so clingy! <laughs> The pinnacle of like nerves for me when I was 15 with girls was high school dances. Because right? you didn't just have to talk to girls to their faces like that. You actually had to put yourself out there and ask them to dance and they can crush you like that. And girls were so mean to me. I don't know about you guys. Like, I mean, for one, they never said yes. That's, that's one now. But they would just say no thanks or no. Just like, I wouldn't have that. I asked one girl to dance. She didn't say anything. She, I was like, would, would you like to dance? And she's gone. <laughs> sheer disgust on her face. I, I swear I ruined her night. Just like, I felt like I should apologise. Huh? Like, Do you want to dance? No. Sorry. Oh, so, uh, no, nah, that's my fault. Yeah. Nah, I feel terrible. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Another, another girl I remember I asked to dance, and I, I had a problem from the very beginning by just by saying dance, because I'm actually a Kiwi, I went to school in New Zealand, but I went to junior school in Australia, so I had a bit of an accent, and I spoke with Australianisms, like dance, because Kiwis say dance. Like that. So I threw them from the beginning, because I asked this one girl, I said, uh, worked up my courage, went up there, walked up, said, would you like, uh, would you like to dance? And she's gone, what? And I've gone, would you like to dance? And she's gone, no. Nah. <laughs> and then I said the most embarrassing thing is something your mum would tell you to say in this kind of situation, but you should never, ever actually say, All right, would you like to dance? No. Oh, God. Huh. Your loss. <laughs> and as I'm walking away, feeling cool, I, I hear her go, what? <laughs> Then I had the awesome idea, right? And I know this is lame. Don't come up to me after the show and say, Nick, that is so lame. I know, right? And I know it's not original. It wasn't my idea. A lot of guys have done it and still do it. Here's what it is. Forget asking girls to dance. That never works. Just start dancing <laughs> near a group of girls and migrate over. Then they don't have a choice, right? It's genius, right? It's following. If you don't know, it's just kind of like just, just get yourself in the mood you have to convince yourself you're an actor now. Like, oh, I just love to dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, where's the music taking me? Oh, no. Where's it taking me now? Oh, I've accidentally ended 
ended up in a group of girls. I'm so fucking spontaneous. Crap. But the horrible moment, the horrible moment, which comes pretty quickly after breaking into the circle, is when you realise that they all hate you. Like, they know what you're doing. Right? You haven't fooled anybody. That's hard work, because you just got in and your, your confidence is like, oh, this is going great! I got in. It's going good. It's pretty good. They hate me. They hate me. Keep dancing, keep dancing. Smile. Smile. Don't let them know that you know that they hate you. Alright, just... Just... Just leave. Just... Just walk away. Why are you still here? What are you doing? It's getting worse. Just walk away. I don't want to look stupid. That boat has sailed. Just go down. Oh my god. What is this? The longer you stay, the worse it gets. Just leave. Do the fake friend. Do something. Yes. Oh, the fake friend. That's awesome. That always works. It's not awesome. It never works. But you got to do something because you've got to get out. Right. Side note. Fake friend is when you're in an awkward situation and you just see an imaginary friend and you go, Oh, Liam. Like, oh, right. right. So I like, okay. I'll do the fake friend. In three, two, one. And they all left. <laughs> got shot down by six girls in one go. And I went over to my actual friend, Liam, that was there. And I went over to him like, just got shot down by six girls. He's like, I know. I saw. Everybody saw. 